So there are a few things you have to consider in case you want to install a biodigester. Usually, whoever intends to install a biodigester for a client will have to tell them the do's and don'ts of biodigesters. One of the key parts is that biodigesters are biodegradable waste biodigesters which are supposed to help aid in biodegradation and decomposition of human solid waste. Unlike the septic tank or the covers that keeps the waste together and stores it for a certain number of months or years before it's physically removed through dislodging, digesters are supposed to decompose the human waste and then it's for easy disposal. What most people also fail to say is that there are certain things that must be done when it comes to installing biodigesters. What I mean is there are some do's and don'ts when it comes to biodigesters. What are the do's? The do's are that you are allowed to flush your unit as usual as it's supposed to be. Anything organic like your tissue paper and the human waste are good for the biodigesters. What is not good and the don'ts as I put them is the inorganic materials which includes the diapers, the pampers, anything that cannot break down by the digester. So when it comes to this issue, what we say is a time will come depending on the lifestyle of the homeowner or the family who have installed a biodigester, a maintenance have to be done. And the reason why the maintenance lifespan cannot be determined or the time range in which maintenance must be done cannot be determined is solely and mainly based on the family's lifestyle. So if there's a family of five and they're living in a three-bedroom house, you have your three children with you, you have father, mother, probably there's a house of, or there's grandmother also staying with us, then what we are going to do, or the estimate that it must usually be made is that this digester must, must last you at least five years before maintenance is done. If it does not last you that amount of time, then what it means is that Probably some inorganic materials might have mixed with the organic ones in the digester and it's going to prevent the digester from doing what it's supposed to do, which is to biodegrade the solid waste. Whenever there's an inorganic material in the digester, the microorganisms and the macroorganisms that aids in decomposition cannot work well because then it means that they block the pores, they block the oxygen that comes into the, into the septic or into the digester tank and they prevent the digester from working as it's supposed to. In that case, you will need to have maintenance done. So if there's a qualified installer who has installed a digester for you and you experience such a problem, what you do is to call the installers to come and have the lid of the digester open up. And then all those stuff that I need can physically be removed out. So if there's pampers, there's diapers, there's cigarette bags and all those stuff, naturally those things are not going to biodegrade. So you have to remove. That's where the maintenance issue comes in for biodigesters. So what are the steps that we take when it comes to maintenance? First thing, if you, you get to realize your digester is getting full, usually happens when you flush the flush unit or the WC, you realize that there's a bubbles and then it settles, it takes time before you can settle into the digester tank. Then there are some occasions you might also see the water outside around the tank showing and that is overflowing. In that case, it means that maintenance has to be done. Either the soak away or the soak hole pit is not working well or some materials that cannot biodegrade have gone to block the pores or the pipes or have clogged the way in which the water must go into the soak away for the digester bed to work well. The key part for most homeowners that they need to know is that when you are using a biodigester, there shouldn't be a water or there shouldn't be any water in the digester bed because it works well when it's dry and the microorganisms work well when there's no water in the digester. That's why in the previous video that we explained about biodigesters, we said that there must be a rapid separation of the solid waste from the water. The solid waste stays in the digester, microorganisms work on it, the water goes through the leche pipe into the soak away or the soak hole pit or into a gutter or whatever system that you are using for the water treatment. If they are not going to work well, then you have to do maintenance. It means that the digester bed will have to be changed, new ones will have to be fitted. The good news for homeowners now is, when we started doing these biodigesters, we were using wire mesh, the mosquito netting, and then some other stuff. What happens with the, this technology was that it was corroding because of the water, the acidic nature 
of the water from the flash unit was corroding the wire mesh and the nets and then the periodic the time range or the timelines in which maintenance has to be done will be will be shorter right but likely with the new improved biodigesters which have got the porous system and then the filtration is way 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 better you don't have that problem unless it's really the lifestyle of the family who are living in the house 